Hey guys, what's up? Red Sonia is the most iconic character. If, if you haven't read the stories or watched the movie or any of those things that are kind of good, you know, in some ways and kind of like maybe a little bit of a B kind of movie in other ways and the comic book is a little bit of a kind of like a B comic, not exactly a triple A title or whatever it is, but the story is cool. Anyone that loves fantasy, that loves Conan the Barbarian, that loves that kind of world, sword and sorcery, epic adventure, you know, you gotta like Red Sonia, you know? She is the warrior. She's the female barbarian and she's got her own story, but she lives in the same world as Conan. And the coolest part about it is that people cosplay her, people draw her. There's so much content. There's so many people drawing that one character. It's not like a lot of people draw a single character, but I think people like artists drawing any single character, Red Sonia is one of the main characters they draw. There's even a book that came out um, and it's a huge freaking book. And this is all artwork of Red Sonia done by various artists. And there's another book that came out. It's kind of half the size of this, but it's also uh, by Dynamite who's making, publishing the um, comic book, but they put a whole bunch of artwork of Red Sonia that's been happening for years now. And all the best artists are drawing like Red Sonia. All your favorite artists, Boris Vallejo, uh, Michael Joseph Linsner, who did Dawn, is, is drawing um, Red Sonia. A lot of these big, big artists, really good, good artists are drawing her. Let me just show you some of the content in this. Some of the artwork is really, really amazing. And I can just show you some of the artwork here is so freaking cool. Here is Red Sonia. I think she's reaching for something, but she's got her sword, she's got her shield in the same hand, in the same arm. And I think that's pretty freaking cool. Even on this one here, this is more of a, a, a modern, she's also like holding her sword. But I love the way she's dressed. I mean, she's wearing barely like anything. She's wearing a, a scale male metal bikini. You know, does it protect her from anything? No, it looks really cool. But back in the day, it's actually realistic. There were more people that used to fight with swords with regular clothing or not with armor or anything like that. You know, you think of all the people that, you know, in all the fantasy movies, they all have armor. You know, people couldn't afford armor. People couldn't afford a sword. They would just pick up a stick and like, or a rock or something, you know, to fight with. They couldn't afford a sword. They couldn't afford armor. Not everyone was a king, a royal, or a knight or something like that. Who had a bunch of money who could get a, um, uh, you know, a person that does metal work, like a, bla a blacksmith to make freaking armor for them, you know? So that's what she wears. And that's realistic. If you look at Conan the Barbarian, what does he wear? He wears also like uh, basically like shorts, you know, some kind of medieval freaking looking shorts and stuff like that. And a place to put his sword, you know? Um, people really did fight dressed down and not with armor. I like these. I like this one. This is pretty freaking cool. This is her and, and the fire is like the the city is just burning and she's just like standing there with a sword. Like, did she burn the city down or did she get away from a burned city or what happened? And there's like this one, really nice one. It's a really good picture of her. She's really, you know, she's really good looking. She's hot and sexy and you know, she's fantasy. You know what I mean? It's 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 also the genre that people are into. If you're into the, the fantasy genre, you gotta like pictures like this, <laughs> you know? And if you're into art, you gotta admit, this is pretty good. Some of this is pretty good. Here's some, um, her coming around, just attacking, freaking with a sword. She's another one of her, I don't know what she's doing. I think she's in some kind of dungeon or something like that. There's chains and shit going on. I'm just gonna show you some of the better ones, some really nice ones. I like this one. Some of the pictures in this are hit or miss. I'm trying to just, just show you the bit, the better ones. I think like 80% of the pictures in this in this book is just amazing. And 20% are like, okay, pretty good. I would say there's no bad pictures in this book. You know, I'm just gonna show you some, wow, look at this one. That's crazy. Look at that one, geez. I don't even know, but a lot of these are just artist drawings, paintings, or a lot of these are also comic book covers or the contents or paintings that were done for comic books. Some of these are freaking cool. Here's one of her. <laughs> and I like that she's in like full hair and makeup in this. And you know what? That's also not unrealistic. People wore makeup back then. And even like they would put face paint or makeup on before they fought in wars. You know what I mean? It's like, 
people would dress up for war. If war was a big deal, war was a freaking, oh wow, look at this one. Some kind of a magical pose thing. And a lot of people would just put like face makeup on, you know, just so they would look a little bit maybe camouflaged or whatever it is, but who's to say they had makeup back then and women that went to war, maybe they went in full makeup. Like uh, do women now in the army, you know, wear full makeup and stuff? They might, they might not because it's a little bit of, you know, they, they, they run long distances, you know, with uh, all of their gear and stuff like that. But who's to say? Who's to say it's unrealistic? Look at that. I know like, like fighting in high heels is different. <laughs> they did not, I, you know, you can't say, oh, they didn't wear high heels. They probably didn't wear high heels, but men wore high heels back then. Like men actually wore high heels. It was a man's uh, style to wear high heels in the, in the Middle Ages and whatever. If you look at some of the old paintings from the Renaissance, men are dressed in tights and high heels, <laughs> you know, and like boots with like high heels just to make themselves look taller. And actually it wouldn't make sense to fight in high heels because they would look more menacing because they look like, you know, a few inches bigger, it would scare the enemy away and shit like that. I'm just gonna show some of the amazing. This one's pretty cool. This is nice. And then there's like, let me show you another one. And there's this one. Some of these are cool. I'm just gonna show you like the highlights of this because it's a big book, there's a lot to show, but I'm gonna show you like the highlights of it. Oh, here's a nice one. Like every few pages is a really good one. Like this one, look at the lightning behind her and stuff like that, isn't that cool? She's got her sword, she's like heroic and stuff like that. People like her because, I could tell you people like her because for one thing, the comic book is still selling and another thing, women like her and they relate with her because of all the cosplay that you see in, in events, you know, you, you always see like people cosplaying Red Sonia, you know? And also look at the other characters that came out from Red Sonia. I'm not sure if Tarna is an original character because she's very, very Red Sonia-like. You know, Tarna from Heavy Metal, the motion picture. Um, she is very, very, she, she's also like, she dresses like really sexy with the high boots and everything and Here's one where she's in the stockade and she's pissed off about it. Look at that. That's kind of funny, you know? And then another one was Xena Warrior Princess. Oh, let me show you a better one than that. Xena Warrior Princess. Xena Warrior Princess. Another female swordsman, swordswoman, you know? Some nice ones. This is a cool one. It's got a little bit like the dark eyes. It looks foreboding and stuff. The candles. She seems to be sitting on a dark throne. And then this one is just like, there's a dragon behind her. It could be her friend dragon or, it looks like a friendly dragon. It doesn't look like she's fighting with the dragon. And the dragon looks sort of menacing also, you know? Uh, it's just her with her with a dragon. And, it, and she's like sleeping there or something. And the dragon's like protecting her and stuff like that. This is a nice one, like through all the, she's just been in like a serious fight. Reminds me of some of the Marvel movies on Netflix, you know, when they come out of that, so like, like uh, Daredevil and how he looks. Like he got, just gets beat up. Like every single freaking fight, he comes at it. He comes out of it beat up as hell. Like the Punisher, if you saw the Punisher on Netflix, the the, uh, the series, the Punisher, man, is so good. He would just get beat up. He just gets more and more beat up. He keeps coming, he keeps being the Punisher, but he gets beat up, man. Like, so, uh, you know, occasionally, it's weird when a hero doesn't get beat up. Even Superman got beat up in, in the movies, Superman. He got beat up in almost every movie. Some Somewhere in the movie, he got beat up in some point. So even somebody who like doesn't get beat up still gets beat up. This is cool. I love this horse uh, picture because like when a horse bucks you off like that, wants you off their back like that, you fall off, you pretty much fly off. It's gotta be, she's gotta be a real good horse woman in order to stay on a horse when he's bucking that hard. You know, otherwise most people fly off. You know, you lose your stirrups and then you just freaking lose your balance and then you just fall off. Um, it's usually okay, you usually get back up and get back on the horse. Usually horses don't mind you on their back, you know, but they have to be trained to do that. Um, let's see what else, oh here's a good one. That's a cool one. I'm not sure who did this one, but that's a good one. It looks like a Julie Bell or something like one. That's a nice one. Let me see who did this one. Um, Lucio Perillo, Perillo, Lucio Perillo, um, good one there. Yeah, I don't know Lucio Perillo, but I keep seeing his name in this book. 
Okay, here's another one. Really cool one. Nice. That is really nice. A little bit dark though, you know? Let's see, some really good ones. This one, um, like this one. I'm just gonna go a little bit further into the book. Let's just go a little bit, there we go. This one's called Prophecy, June 2012. Uh, yeah. So the thing about the artwork in this is that some of this was done for comic books and this is done by different people with different art styles. So, um, you know, you could see the definitely different art styles in this. Like, even on this one, it looks like, like that woman has a gun, I think. There's Va Vampirella, that's her. And they do a lot of crossover work with Vampirella, which I don't really read a lot of stuff with Vampirella. I like the character and she does get cosplayed a lot. You know, and it's a really, she's in a cool costume, but she's also in like a really skimpy costume. Okay. Damn, there's some really interesting ones here. Her as a vampire. That's pretty cool. Her as a vampire. <laughs> With another vampire there. That's the thing about vampires, man. You can just be turned that easily, you know, into a freaking vampire. It doesn't take a lot. Atlantis Rises. Um, yeah. More cool art of her. I'm just gonna show like the cooler art because I cannot show all of it. It is just too big of a book. This book is really cool. If you if you like art, uh, if you just just like art, or if you like comic book art, or if you like drawing, this book is really good. It's got a lot of great work in here, you know, where you can really like learn from or maybe you know like draw what's already in this book or put your own stuff into it, you know. It's really good. If you want to learn to draw, drawing any of this stuff will teach you a ton. Hmm. That's interesting, right? She's like behind her, there's some kind of spirit. Kind of weird. And then there's like this one. Also like something happening. Sometimes you can't really tell what's going on in there. Oh, she's like in chains. Huh, interesting. This is kind of weird. Look, on one page it's this where she's in her bikini, you know, full full scale male bikini. And then the other one is this, where she's just kind of dressed without armor. I mean, I think the, the bikini will actually give her more actual protection than just regular clothing. Here's another one, I don't know why they do that. There's another one with bikini and another one with clothing. It's kind of weird. You can't really tell it's her unless she's wearing the bikini. You can't really tell it's her. Flip, flip. Oh man, really good one there. Nice. <laughs> and this one is just also, oh my God. Also victorious and walking around victorious and shit. Uh, that was kind of cool. She's got um, some kind of bird on her back. It's always cool. I always like like fantasy when they actually have like familiars or some kind of like pet bird or something like that that follows them around everywhere. You know, whether it's like a little dragon or something like that. It's always cool when, when someone in these adventures has, I like this one. That's a cool one. And it's got like a, uh, a, a peacock in it, the big feathers and everything. Let's see what else is there in here. There's so, so many good stuff. I don't know, some of this is a little bit, oh, here's a nice one. Really cool. You know, definitely, definitely like one of the things I like about this art book is that it's got a lot of different artists. I really like the art books with different artists in them. It's like the Spectrum books or something like that. This is a nice one. Her on her horse again with an ax. And this one's kind of weird. It's like she's just attacking uh, with her sword. Wow. Hmm. Some of these are just really cartoony, so I'm just gonna skip over them. Oh, here's a good one. In the snow, I think it's snow. It looks like there's, oh, it's white everywhere, so it must be snow. Yeah, and her, she's, her boots are like in the snow and everything like that. That's pretty cool. She's not wearing anything. She should bundle up a little bit, but she's a fictional character, so 
she can like be in the snow and whatever, it doesn't really matter. Mm. Wow. Uh, yeah. Wow. There's that. Also, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Just trying to you know, find the really good stuff in here. For some reason, there's a lot of like cartoony ones in here. I'm just gonna try to skip over those. Skip over those. Skip over those. Oh my god. Skip, skip. Oh, here's a good one. Wow. Fighting a gigantic snake. That's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And there's like another one like that. Kind of weird, like just kind of fighting some kind of gigantic beast. Um, here's a nice one. That's really cool. Really good drawing there. You know, you could tell like she's like a fighter, you know, she look, look at her face. She's like growling almost. I wonder who did that one. Jenny Fryson. See, a lot of women also like draw her. She's like really good. Cause she's just like a strong female character basically. Good one. And you, you can't help from thinking that Xena was an offshoot of her. You can't help thinking that Tarna might've been a little bit like of an offshoot of her. Is that one nice? That's pretty cool. Huh. Let's see. Uh, some good stuff. Oh wow, interesting. Sort of like a montage of different. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Montage there. Let, it's not like one scene. Oh man, look at that one. It's another one with uh, her with a sword. It's pretty cool. Uh, I guess those are poppies or some kind of flowers or whatever. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I mean, like, it's interesting because it's a mix of warrior, medieval, badass, and like a feminine personality at the same time. And you know, like she's a girl though, like, so she likes girl things, so she'll be in flowers and she'll do that. And, but she'll also have her sword and her armor and her ax and stuff like that. She'll also like kill the monsters cause she's like a fantasy adventurer. Um, yeah, some of this stuff is just a little bit weird. Nice one there. Pretty cool. And uh, this one's a little bit like, I don't know. Yeah. Oh God. For some reason, like a lot of these, oh, here's a good one. There's a lot of cartoony ones that I'm just not a big fan of. But some of these realistic looking ones, even though they look a little bit comic book-like, because it's a comic book character and it's a lot of the artwork, artwork was for comic books. I think a lot of these are just so good though, at the same time. <laughs> Here's what I'm talking about with the cartoon characters. I I'm not even a big fan of that. You know, I, uh, I'm not a fan when they do that. I'm not really a fan too much when they put like, make video games out of that and cartoons out of that, or whatever. I'm just not into that kind of thing. It just looks too cartoony. It doesn't look like, it just looks like it's for kids, you know. That's pretty cool. It's got a tiger there. Oh wow, check this one out. Nice one. I don't even know what it is, but it's interesting. It's like a lot of these are like, what? what's going on in these paintings? But they look cool. I mean, it looks nice. So uh, it's an interesting one. I've seen this one before. It's just, I'm not sure exactly also what's going on in it, but it looks nice. Let's see. Wow, it's another one. Also like, wow, it looks like a King Kong. Like she's fighting King Kong. Like she's no Fei Rei, man. She will like kick King Kong's ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you yeah. know, nah, she, she will like take King Kong down. Here's another one. Kind of cool. Decent one, her and a tiger. It's pretty cool. It's nice. Uh, let's see. 
some of the stuff. Oh, here's one with Conan. Wow. Here's one that's with Conan. That's an interesting one. Sometimes they do like the crossovers where she and Conan are in the same adventure. This one's called Red Sonja and the Black Tower. That's just, geez. Oh, here's one. That's pretty freaking cool. Don't know what's happening exactly, but it's pretty freaking cool. That's nice. Let's see what else is going on. Some of these like realistic looking paintings, I think they're a lot nicer. This looks like a legit proper painting, not just like some cartoony looking thing. It's, which is cool also, but this is better. It's just better. It took the guy or whoever drew this like a lot more time to do that than it would take somebody to do like more of a cartoony thing, like something like this with a lot of detail. Took a lot of effort and a lot of skill to get to this point, to be able to do it this way. And, um, and just some of this, you can just appreciate how good the art is as opposed to, you know, other stuff that... Good one. It's holding the, uh, the chain with the spike ball on it. That's pretty freaking cool. It's just, I guess she's facing off with those enemies and stuff, unless those are like warriors that are on her same side. I'm also trying not to damage the book because it's just such a great book. I don't want it damaged. Oh wow, that's so cool. Um, just do a few more of these. Jesus Christ, man. I don't know what's going on here, but it looks like she just like killed a monster. Let's see. Oh wow. Nice one. Sort of like a Conan one. Sort of like the kind of pose, the kind of situation Conan the Barbarian would be in. And, uh, that's, I like this one. Not a great, you know, highly done painting, but really nice. I like it. I like the snake behind her and everything. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Here's a nice one. It's cool, it's all like fantasy. Like That's what the thing I like about this thing, it's like, you're gonna get fantasy. You want fantasy, you get Red Sonja, you get fantasy. You know, you might not get an amazing like plot or whatever, or the story might be repetitive, but it's gonna be fantasy. You know, it's gonna be fantasy and it's, that's what it's gonna give you. It's not like promising fantasy and giving you something else. There are some fantasy stories that are medieval, but they're like medieval drama rather than like medieval fans, you know? Oh, here's another one with, that's a definitely a Conan, Red Sonja crossover. And I think in the movie, like Conan and Red Sonja, they had a sword fight and neither of them won, or like he wasn't a better swordsman than she was, you know? She's pretty, they're pretty much the same. Oh, this is like a section where it's all Conan and Red Sonja on here, which is really nice, it's a nice section. Yeah, it's a lot of, here, I'll just show you this. More, it's just Conan and Red Sonja on here. And then this one also, Conan and Red Sonja. That's pretty cool because if you like Conan, you're probably gonna like Red Sonja. If you like Red Sonja, you're probably gonna like Conan. You know, more Conans than Red Sonjas. It's interesting because they are in the same world. I'm pretty sure Conan was first and then they, they said, let's do a female Conan. And it actually was, it was the one time where that kind of idea worked. Because usually when they do that, let's do this, we'll make them female instead of male, you know? And they just do that and they, they get that right, but the rest of the movie sucks, you know? <laughs> like, when they, I didn't see the Ghostbusters with the females, but that's what, that's, that's what I, it's that kind of thing where it's just like, you know? It's that kind of thing where it's just like that. <laughs> They're fighting together. You know, it's like, oh, but let's make the female. And you know, I don't know why they do that. I feel like they did the same thing. Like when Xena was around, there was Hercules, Legendary Journeys also was around. Um, whatever male, like Bionic Man, Bionic Woman, you know, like Charlie's Angels and then uh, Knight Rider. Um, they just did a lot of that kind of stuff. Bionic Man, Bionic Woman, Superman, Supergirl, you know? They did so much of that, that it's just like, you just just make make them a different gender, and then but the story is the same and everything else is the same, but they're a different gender. 
And that's what it feels like. It feels like, like when you watch Bionic Woman, it feels like you're watching Bionic Man. It doesn't feel like anything is different. Oh, here's some nice ones. Here's some, I guess that's actual armor. <laughs> She's got a full uh, shirt of armor on that one. Um, I think this is more of, God, yeah, here's some pictures with her in, in like full armor. More of a, like a, I guess there's a cur curus they call it or something, where it's just like the armored shirt. Hmm. Some great stuff in here. Let me just, uh, yeah. Just trying to show the good ones. I'm not gonna you know, waste time with every single picture in here. There's just so many. There's hundreds of pictures in this second book. You know, even though like when I look through this book, I look at all of them, or actually not most, I don't even look at all of them, but here's another one. Like it, it shows you the three girls. It's got Vampirella, Deja Thoris, Red Sonia. Deja Thoris is pretty much another Red Sonia and but Dej Dej Thoris is from the John Carter of Mars books. And there's, there's that. Um, Vampirella, I don't know where she's from. I don't think I've ever actually read a Vampirella comic. Wow. I don't think I've ever read a Vampirella comic. But I like the character. I like how, they lo how she looks. I like when people cosplay her. It's pretty cool. She's in full armor here. The back of this book is just a bunch of like the, oh man, wait. Um, a, a bunch of these, uh, I'll show you the last few good ones. Oh, look at that one. Nice one. Really cool. I really would like to see like Louis Royo do one or some of these other guys. Cause I find that like, you know, the great, great artists, they just don't do her that much. You've got a lot of artists doing her, but then a lot of artists like actually don't do her that one I'm pretty sure yeah. some great ones yeah this is pretty cool is that just some of the um the artwork of Red Sonia uh so thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for subscribing if you subscribe subscribe if you haven't subscribed share the video if you have friends that like this kind of thing um have a great day and I will see you guys in another video later